All right, so here he is, one of the better ground and pound guys we have in the sport here at present. There's just an efficiency and an accuracy to the way he approaches the ground strikes. No wasted motion out of this guy. Oh, it's, it's an art form, John. It's the way that he goes at his opponents, and the moment they hit the mat, he secures them. Oh, it's off. He doesn't rush. He takes his time. He knows that it does not take much in order to finish a fight. So he'll find his posture. You can't, he doesn't waste time with his head to chest just punching. He finds posture. Once he finds posture, he can get momentum to land the big strike, then he moves position. And then he goes and he finds another strike. Before long, you see his opponent face swelling. You see the eyes all split open and beat. It's truly, truly amazing to watch him and watch his approach to ground and pound. And great cardio allows him to stay heavy. We've seen a lot of fighters just struggle to buck him off. We'll see how it goes tonight. All right, here he is for my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. side. Going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it upright. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going tonight. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Joy gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, nice straight left there. Right, so there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory if he couldn't get takedowns. That is certainly a good sign. Right away, he got the takedown. I don't believe they could have imagined that it would work so well so early. Great job. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though, you see. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Just out of range with that right hook. Good punch lands. Joy gets hit by that leg kick. Outstanding knee the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. So nicely done with the trip there. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. <laughs> you are battering that dude. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. The right hook to the body. Way to hide that leg kick. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Switching stances here. Went for the inside leg kick. Big off punch man. Now he gets back in range. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And both guys really throwing with authority. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, a single collar tie there. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. 
All right, so he continues to land that packing jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Nice kick. Oh, a nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Just misses there with the left. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. And he landed the right hand there. Connects with a right. Another shot lands upstairs. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both for the record is on repeat. Wash and rinse over and over again. It's takedown after takedown. All right to the mouth. High-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in it. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very easy that you saw in round number one. Misses again with a right punch. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by the Korean Super Bowl. Tries to work it into a takedown. All right, so oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Right punches there. Throwing hard in the pocket. Start to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. That one snuck in. Nice strike. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. You got clipped with the right hand. Misses with that punch. Single collar tie now. Lands the right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, how about the transition to the ankle pick? Now we will see where he goes from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Doesn't gain top position. What a beautiful takedown, but he just waited for one second, and his opponent reacted before he could secure top position. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. He's sticking them over and over again. He's got his head popping back. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he's a man. Who's with him? Throws him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful legs. Joy gets caught with that punch. 
Ooh, blocks the shot. Try to establish that jab. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Oh, nice. Wow. Starting to do some really significant... Oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice punch, Landry. Lands another knee there. DC doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Right under the elbow. Unable to connect there. Take down, cover. Take down, cover. Over and over. He's securing these takedowns. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pull it on. Gotta be careful here, though, not to gas out. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down with a strike that would put him Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that man, DC. Just missed with the left there. And they said, oh, big knee! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! What a punch. Yes, they hurt him in the last round. Same exact one. Left hand is true. That will absolutely work. He throws it like a pistol back. And Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Wow! Oh! oh! Wow! Wow! He's done! He's done! <laughs> Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched Glove. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, five seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. Right, so there he